Well guys, you might remember seeing this lock once before. I did it in video number 970 way back in December of last year. Uh, Niels sent this lock in from Sweden. It is an ABUS 150H-65 and it's number 8 on their security scale of 10. But I showed you very quickly how these are very vulnerable to shimming and I popped it open and considered that to be the end of it. But with some follow-up emails, that really wasn't the question that Neil asked. What Neil asked is, how do you decode this? So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that. It's the least I can do if Neil is gonna invest that kind of money. This is a feeler gauge. This is the Sparrows Ultra uh, decoder. Um, 11 or 12 bucks. All you really need is a piece of very thin feeler gauge. This is about 12 thousandths of an inch thick. Just anything that's thin enough to fit down between the wheel and the body of the lock, just like that. So what I'm going to do, we're going to take it and slide it in there. And you'll notice I'm wedging it up against the shaft. And now it's almost perfectly vertical. I'm going to turn that wheel until it offsets to the right. So it'll, it'll go something about like that. And that way we know that the tip of that is in the gate or actually on the flat spot of the wheel. So I'm on six, so just turn it one at a time until you get that offset. And there we go. Got some offset and it is on mostly one, kind of in between one and two, I'm gonna call it closest to one. So that's, that's the first one and then do the same for all the rest of them. Just position it. There is a washer in there. You got to kind of get your way around, but isn't that difficult, really? And just keep going uh, wheel to wheel until you find that gap. And there we go. We're offset again, and it's mostly on seven. I'm going to call it seven. Same thing here. Wedge it in. we go it's halfway between three and four I'm gonna put it on three in fact that was so close between three and four I'm gonna rotate it again just to be sure by the way I don't know the combination Niels set this and didn't bother telling me I think I got a little overzealous on my turning yeah it's a three so we got the offset on three we'll stay with that okay again vertical And we got pretty deep offset, and it is on five. And the last one. And we got our offset, and we're on one. So, ah, oh crap. This isn't going to work. Or will it? All right, what we've really done, we've lined up the gates. But the gates aren't lined up with the release mechanism. But somewhere... Uh, is our combination. It's uh, all we're going to do is rotate these wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate them. I guess it would be counterclockwise. So I'm going to roll the one to zero. I'm going to take the seven to six, to three to two, four, and zero. Try it again. Nothing. All right. Keep going. We're just trying to figure out where that gate is and where that release mechanism is. And there we go. So the real combination needles is 95139. All right, how easy is that? You decoded it. But now you can really make the lock yours. All you really do, these are resettable. So just push the shaft down, turn that 90 degrees, set whatever combination you want, set it back to where it is right now, pop it up, and bam, you got your own com combination lock. But please, guys, these are not secure locks. These are low security locks. Please don't use them for high security applications. Maybe your kid's tricycle or gym locker, but that's about the extent of it. Anyway, Niels, I hope I answer your question finally after months in the naughty bucket. Thanks for your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.